Hey, it's Kasim with Solutions 8, and in this video, I want to talk to you about enhanced CPC. When to use it, how to use it, why to use it, where to use it. Well, not where to use it. It's in Google Ads. You already knew that. Uh, let me dive in just briefly. So enhanced CPC is an overlay on top of a, a specific type of bidding strategy. Um, and what you'll notice is anytime you're building a new campaign, Google likes to uh, crowbar us into bidding strategies that Google likes. And those tend to uh, lean in the direction of um, automation. So Google wants to be able to automate everything. Ultimately, their goal is to say, uh, for us to say, here's my, my URL, here's my credit card, go, Google, take it away. And so if you're only focusing on um, the bid strategy that Google makes available, you're actually not even going to see the option that I want you to see. Uh, so just be aware of that. Now, here at the bottom, it says, or select a bid strategy directly not recommended. Thank you, Google, for your recommendation. We'll take it from here. So if you select that option, now the dropdown has additional bid strategies, uh, specifically manual CPC. Here's why I like manual CPC. For exploratory campaigns, now realize that I just said those words because I don't want some bloody nerd war sparked over the fact that, you know, Gossam says only to use manual CPC. For exploratory campaigns, I like manual CPC because it's going to give you a, a clearer view of what the landscape looks like. Manual CPC becomes your control group. If you start an exploratory campaign, and by exploratory campaign, by the way, I mean brand new campaign. So let's say you're testing a new market, a new geography, a new offer, a new set of keywords, whatever. Brand new campaign. If you're using manual CPC, that's your control group. So now you're saying, okay, we're staying here at this threshold, and then I'm going to see what is going to happen. If you use automated bid strategies, there's no control group. And so um, now you're, you're basically testing an exploratory campaign, but you're doing so within the confines of um, kind of you are the moving target. You know, you're, you're bouncing all over the place, and you're allowing Google to make changes to um, – to optimize for a campaign that has yet to prove concept. You don't know what things should cost. You don't know what competitors are out there. Of the competitors that are out there, you don't know who's more aggressive, who's occupying um, the most share. You don't want a cyclical markets look like. You don't know anything. You don't know anything. So manual CPC is nice because you'd say, okay, bam, here's my benchmark. And I'm going to set my limits here. I'm going to manually determine uh, what this, this ecosystem is going to look like. So the other thing that lets you do is it allows you to um, – uh, do something that I would refer to as a bottom-up spend study. So with automated bid strategies, Google's going to go out and try to get you conversions, but according to um, what Google deems to be the most effective way to get conversions, um, what you might find is if you go from the bottom up, meaning, you know, bottom results, lower bid, um, and then increase incrementally, you'll start to see where you get the most conversions for the least amount of money. So it's your apex, not Google's. Um, and that's not to say that you want to stay at the bottom, you know, as often as not, you actually probably want to be at the top because um, it's a meritocratic system. But moving from the bottom up gives you the full scoop, scope. So now you get to see everything that's that's uh, uh, accessible to you. Whereas uh, if you're using automated strategies, that data is, I don't want to say not there, but um, you don't have the ability to compile it and to view it in a way that, that is is meaningful. So manual CPC gives you the opportunity to see uh, exactly what an ecosystem is is capable of, and and, and um, you know the truth. Basically, it gives you the truth of the situation. Now, once you've generated conversions, and for a small campaign, this could be as little as five to ten conversions. Uh, what I recommend doing is adding enhanced CPC. Now, this is really interesting. Google pre-assigns this as having been added. That's an error. What you want to do is in a brand new exploratory campaign, choose manual CPC, but then disable enhanced CPC. Even though Google says setting bits manually may result in lower performance. That's okay. We're setting them manually, understanding this can result in lower performance, and then we're going to increase our bids uh, accordingly. Once you get your bids to a point to where you're actually producing conversions and you get five to 10 conversions on the low end, then enable enhanced CPC. Here's what enhanced CPC does. It gives Google the latitude to increase your, your bid um, if Google sees an auction that it goes, you know what, we're probably going to win that. And remember that Google has 70 million demographic and psychographic profiling factors on every single human being on the planet, including all their historic context and search. So Google knows when somebody's going to convert. And so, and they know specifically when somebody's going to convert for you. 
They're going to say, man, these two people are match made in heaven. I'm going to increase the bids um, because I think that if I increase the bids, we're going to be able to win this auction. In the beginning, Enhanced CPC would increase the bids by a 30% cap. So Google would only increase by up to 30%. Uh, that was that cap was removed, and I think they went up to 250%, which is really significant. And then I read a WordStream article very recently that said that there is no cap now, and Google will spend anything. That has not been my experience at all. I don't think WordStream's right there. Um, but just know that it's it's it can be pretty significant. So, you know, if you're spending, if you have a, a, a $10 bid and Google goes and bids 25 bucks, like that's a really big, a really big swing. But the idea there is that Google's bidding that because it actually thinks you have a much stronger likelihood of winning. You want to wait until you have conversions in hand, though, because you don't want Google making assumptions on a campaign that has zero conversions. So if you get your five to 10 conversions in hand now, what it's doing is it's optimizing off of common denominators that you provided it, not off of machine learning assumptions. So start your sports trade campaign using manual CPC. Um, go from the bottom up. So start low and then move up, assuming that time isn't an issue. If time's an issue, you might need to start higher just because you want to tenure your campaign sooner. Um, and once you've reached a threshold where you're getting five to 10 conversions, then switch over to manual CPC. Uh, excuse me, switch over to enhanced CPC. Um, and now Google's going to start kicking up your bids um, anytime it thinks that you're uh, more likely to win an auction. And this also gives you a, a better sense as to where your CPC should be, um, you know, over the long term. If you constantly keep winning the auctions only when you're um, when you're bidding high, that might not necessarily mean that, um, you know, that might mean that you're priced under the market and it would put you in a really solid opportunity to um, increase your bids accordingly. So that's how to use uh, Enhanced CPC. I hope this is helpful. Um, like the video if you thought that this was helpful to you. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Comment if you have questions. And otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.